reporting tonight, David Muir. Good evening, Diane is on assignment tonight as we begin this Friday evening with a developing story that has never happened before. But as we come on the air today and end to a stunning FBI manhunt in Florida tonight, a search for three gun-wielding siblings, they robbed the bank, set out on a high-speed chase, and then sprayed cops with their AK-47s. Now the bandits are still on the run, and here's ABC's Lindsay Davis. The East Davis trio should be considered armed and dangerous. Three siblings being urged by their mother to surrender. Authorities say they robbed a bank in Georgia with what appeared to be AK-47s. As they entered the bank, the FBI says they fired shots at the ceiling and took off with an undisclosed amount of money. Earlier, they were allegedly involved in a high-speed chase in Florida. At least 20 gunshots were fired at a police car. Authorities have been pursuing Dylan Doherty Stanley, Lee Grace Doherty, and Ryan Edward Doherty since Tuesday. The sheriff says he fears they're on a violent mission. Because I promise you, we will not tolerate this in Pasco County. We're not going to tolerate this at all. The three suspects were last seen in this older model white four-door sedan with New York plates. Their only communication, an ominous text to their mother saying, there's a time for all of us to die. If you're a suspect and you're watching this right now, turn yourself in peacefully. Because once they find out who you are, the next thing you're going to see is our SWAT team coming down and kicking in your door and grabbing you. 20 felonies altogether. Police say they have no indication at this time just where they may be heading. They do plan on launching digital billboards throughout the southeast. Comes to modern day body and crime of the siblings this time. Lindsay, thanks. Chris Noko. You're a world class fluoride head freak king lover. Right up there with Kane, Nimrod, Pharaoh, Jezebel, Julius Caesar, King Herod, Nero, Hitler, and Stalin. Once again, you prove what kind of murderers you really are. That you want to hunt down and kill some young adults just because they stole a little bit of money. But come something like uh, what happened on September 11, 2001, knowing that was an inside job, go to the 9-11 blueprint for truth and find out the truth. You don't do anything about that, do you? The reason you're not afraid of anything is because Satan the devil is your father, as it says in St. Matthew chapter uh, 13, verse 38, and St. John chapter 8, verse 44. The reason you're not afraid of anything is because you're too damn stupid to be afraid of anything. You know, in the, you know, in the King James Version of the Holy Bible, the True Bible, not all that garbage that these 90% of these churches put out, 90% or plus. It also calls demonic spirits are also called evil spirits. They're also called dumb spirits like you. And yes, they're gonna burn in hell. You know that uh, Oklahoma, Texas heat wave did you know that was prophesied? That's how I knew to get a bigger air conditioner because I knew that that heat wave was coming. You see, when you're dealing with me, you're no longer dealing with the natural. You're dealing with a supernatural. The same power that destroyed Herod when the people started calling him a god. But you see, Herod wasn't no god. The only thing Herod was, was a fluoride head freak king lover. You know one of these fluoride head freak king loving preachers would be given a uh, preaching about Cain how God set Cain and Abel out to uh, gather an offering for him. And then uh, Cain's uh, 
offering was rejected. And then that preacher would say, well, Cain was lazy. And then that preacher would go into two hours of bullshit lie about how Cain was lazy. When that's not what happened at all. The preacher would go to talking about how God doesn't like lazy people. Go into two hours of crap of how God does not like lazy people. When what the truth is, if there was a field that had rocks in it and had diamonds in it, and you were to gather up these diamonds and rubies and stuff out of the field and bring it and offer it to God to show appreciation, you know, like drawing a picture. It would be like you would uh, draw a picture and give it to your parents. Well, what Cain did was went and gathered up a bunch of rocks and offered that to God to show how much he thought of God. This is what Cain was doing was putting a price on God saying this is how much you're worth.